In this video, I will show you how to make the Baby Boy bottle cover. This decorative and functional macrame bottle cover is one of our free patterns. Today we'll be using our new wave yarn in eagle grey. This cover can be made in either a one tone or a two tone option, but today I'm going to be showing you how to make it in the one tone option. If you want to make it in the two tone option, check out our free pattern for the instructions for that. You don't even need a whole ball of yarn for this, so it's a good project for those started leftover balls that you have hanging around. You will also need a bottle for which you'll be working around. This pattern is written for a bottle that measures 21 centimeters from here to here, and its circumference is 23 centimeters, but it can easily be adjusted for other bottle sizes. Okay, so let's get started. First, we need to measure out our yarn. So we need to take the label off and find the center. Now we're gonna measure out 10.5 meters of yarn. At your 10.5 meter point, don't cut your yarn, but fold in it at half. Now we're gonna measure out another 10.5 meters. So using your 10.5 meters that you just pulled out, you can measure another one. And there you go, you've reached the start, so you've done another 10.5. Fold your yarn in half again, and do exactly the same again. So we're gonna measure out another 10.5 meters. Here we go, and we've reached our end again. So we're gonna fold it over one last time and measure out 10.5 meters once again. Now we've reached our 10.5 point again. At this point now, we're gonna cut our yarn, like so. And now you no longer need that. We now have a four ply length of 10.5. One end will have two loose ends and a looped end. And then your other end will just have two looped ends. So that's the end we wanna find now. So pull your yarn back over holding it together and there you go there's your two looped end now take your end with the two folded loops and measure three centimeters from the end like so at this point and here we're going to make an overhand knot so wrap your yarn around your finger and pull it through and just adjust it so that this looped end measures three centimeters, like so. And pull tightly. Now that your four ends are secured together, hold the overhand knot and twist your yarn together tightly, like so, making your four ends appear to be more like one thick strand. You'll need to keep doing this throughout to maintain the twist of your yarn. From now on, this four ply length of yarn will be referred to as your yarn. The overhand knot end is your tail end and the other end is your working end. Take the tail end of your yarn and make a slip knot, like so. Wrapping it around and slipping it through, like that. When making your slip knot, ensure that your tail end is the end that you can pull to tighten and loosen your slip knot, like this. Now get your bottle, loosen your slip knot and place it around the neck of your bottle, like so. Make sure that your working end is on the right of you as the bottle faces you and that your tail end is on the left, like this, and position your slip knot so that your tail end measures 20 centimeters, like so. And now we're gonna to begin to make our bottle holder. Now we're ready to start working in our macrame fishnet pattern. So we've shortened our ends for the ease of this video, just to, so that we can show you the techniques a little clearer. But at the beginning, you'll find that your end, working end is very long. You might find it easier to make some overhand knots in your working end as you go, just to stop it from getting tangled. But just remember to undo these once you get to that point. Okay. So loosen your slip knot slightly around the neck just so you have enough room to pass your yarn behind. So take your working end, twisting it a little bit, and measure three centimeters from the end of your slip knot. So there, like so. 
Now we're gonna make a running knot over the yarn around the neck of the bottle. So take your working end and pass it behind like that and pull it through. Cross it over so it's in a loop like so and take your working end back through this loop. Like that. And tighten it. And there we go. And then measure three centimeters like that. Now we're gonna make another running knot three centimeters past this one. So take your yarn, twist it, pass it behind. Now cross it over, take it through. You might find it easier to pull it through once. So take it through, cross it over, and then pull it through all in one go because your ends will be very long. Just make sure that your running knot looks like that just before you tighten it. So it goes round and back through like that. And then tighten it. Again, three centimeters from the end of the last one. Now we've got two running knots. We're gonna repeat this a further four times so that we have six running knots around the neck in total. So twist your yarn, it's behind, cross it over, pull it through. Tighten it like this. You'll notice that you'll get to the start before you've finished all six of them. So at this point you need to shuffle them all around just so that you can fit your six in. So do it like this. So we've got one, two, three, four, five. So we just need to make one more to finish our first round. So twist your yarn, pass it behind. Cross it over into that loop shape. And pull it through like that. You can tighten your neck back up now. So it sits tightly around the neck of your bottle. And then just adjust so that all your knots are equal distance away from each other. Around the neck like so. Okay, so your first round should look like this. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now we're gonna move on to our second round. Now for the beginning of our second round, we're gonna make a running knot here in this first float. So instead of measuring three centimeters, this time we're gonna measure 3.5 from the end of our last running knot. So here, and then we're gonna make a running knot between the float made in your first round, like so. And tighten it so that this new float that's just been made should measure 3.5 centimeters, just like that. Okay, now we're gonna make another running knot but now in between this float. Again, we're now measuring 3.5 centimeters. So here, and we're gonna pass it behind like so, cross it over. Pull it through so it looks like a running knot and tighten it like so. You'll start to see the macrame fishnet pattern is starting to take shape. So keep doing this in every float of your round. So then you should have six running knots on your second round. Now we've reached where we began our second round and our second round has six uh, running knots. One, two, three, four, five, six, and that's the end of our second round. 
Now we just need to continue working like this, repeating our second round until we reach the base of our bottle. So your next running knot will be in this float, your next one will be here and continuing around and you'll work in a spiral until you reach the base. This should be approximately 14 more rows. So, when working in your rounds, they will naturally begin to bunch up like this. You'll need to stretch your fishnet down to reach your base, and your fishnet diamonds should measure 3.5 centimeters in width, like so, and then two centimeters in height, like that. So, once they reach those diameters, you'll know you've reached the base of your bottle, and in total, you should have approximately 16 rounds. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Now we're ready to work the base of our bottle. This is just made up from doing a further two rounds in your macrame fishnet pattern. And you're working two rounds, which means 12 more running knots. So you might want to keep a tally of that. Now we've finished working in our macrame fishnet pattern, we just need to finish it off. So, take your yarn and measure 20 centimeters from the base of your last running knot and cut all four lengths of yarn. And thread all four lengths through your darning needle like so. Now take your bottle cover and stretch it out so that your last two rounds reach your base, like that. It might feel a little bit tight, but that's great because it'll give it the structure that it needs to hold your bottle. Okay, so now taking your end with your needle, you're gonna pass it underneath the last float that you just made and out through the other side, like so. And now we're gonna do that for every float in your last round. So take underneath your float and out the other side. Underneath, out, underneath, out. Now you've gone under all six floats, just pull your yarn and it'll come in just like a drawstring, like so. And I'll make this star at the base of your bottle like that. Now we just need to secure this. So insert your needle back through the circle that you just made like this, just to strengthen your base and pull it nice and tight. So, back to the point where we started, like that. Now we're going to insert our needle through the middle. So at this point you might find it easiest to take your bottle out. So loosen your slip knot at the top, like so. And your bottle cover should just slip off your bottle, like this. And then pull your, your needle through that circle that we made at the bottom and turn it inside out so it's easy to see, like so. And now we're just going to make a knot here just to secure it. So sit through like that and pull as tight as possible just to keep it nice and flat on the bottom. And now you can snip the ends off that. Turn your bottle cover around the right way and now we can pop it back onto your bottle like so and stretch it up and then pull on your tail end like so so it sits comfortably around your bottle 
And there you go. That's your baby boy bottle cover all done.